Welcome back to this video lecture series on programming questions for placement preparation. So today we'll be seeing a problem uh, which says we need to find the sum of numbers formable by permutation of given digits. So given a certain number of digits, uh, find the sum of all the numbers that can be formed using all the combinations of given digits. So if the given number is 1, 2, 3 basically, so we have 1, 2 and 3 uh, as the digits. So the output should be 1, 3, 3, 2 because uh, we see with 1, 2 and 3, these 3 digits we can form 6 numbers which are uh, 123, 132, 213, 231, 312, 321 and sum of these is 1332. So we need to uh, you know get this 1332 as output if the given numbers are 1, 2, 3. So uh, let's have a look at the approach we will be taking to solve this problem. So first we'll get the factorial of uh, given number of digits and divide it with given number of digits to get a m which is number of times each of the digit that will appear at each of the position of the given number. So then we will multiply the sum of the digits with m to get a sum. We will run a loop for number of given digits time and add the sum for each of the position from the LSB to MSB by continuously adding result of each loop iteration. So the thing is that if we observe all the six numbers that we obtain from given digits 1 to 3 at each of the position let's take this position that is the rightmost position see 3 appears 2 times in 1 2 3 and in 2 1 3 then 2 appears 2 time in 132 and 312 one is also appear two times 231 and 321 so how to get the number uh, for which uh, a particular digit of the given set of digit is repeated that will be obtained if we take the factorial of the given number of digits and then we divide it by the given number of digits so the main trick is that so let's jump on to the programming part and let's implement our logic so basically I have typed down uh, a few lines of code. What I have done here is very simple. I have taken two variables here num and n. So num is basically the number that we want and n is the number of digits. So we will use this function find sum which takes two parameters the number and the number of digits and it will actually compute the sum of all the numbers that can be formed with the given set of digits. So uh, we'll start coding from here. So our main task is to define this fun find sum. So the first thing uh, that we need to do, we need to get the factorial. So uh, I'll take a variable fact here, and I'll use a function factorial to compute the factorial of a given number of digits. So let me define this function here. the logic is very simple for factorial if we see that n is equals to 1 then we return 1 otherwise what we do we return factorial of n minus 1 multiplied by n right so after we get this, uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to take this variable m, and this will store the number of times each of these digits will appear at each of the position. Now I need to get the sum of the digits. So I'll take a variable digit sum, and let me initialize it with a value of zero. So let me run a loop. Int i is equals to zero i less than n i plus plus also for this uh, I'm going to think a temporary variable which will store the number so here digit sum plus sorry plus is equal to 10 ampersand 10 and 10 Well, let's not use the for loop here. Let's use a while loop. Uh, the condition for 
this loop will be while temp not is equals to zero so i have got the digit sum so now let me use this multiplier or mult variable which will store this value m multiplied by this digit sum now i'm going to take a final variable sum which will actually store the sum of all the numbers uh, that can be formed with using these digits so now to compute the sum what we are going to do is let's run a loop this time a for loop then i less than n i plus plus sum plus sorry plus is equal to mult multiplied by k and this k will have to take it again here is equals to 1 then k will be this that's it now we will see how the sum yeah so let's now run this code okay uh, here we have missed a semicolon here so here's the output so let's put 3 as the number of digits and the number is 1 2 3 so the expected output is 1 3 3 2 that is 1332 and here is the output you can see 1 3 3 2 so that was done in a proper way thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time